Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where Sweden is uh, currently a little bit bankrupt, but we'll get over that. Let's proceed, shall we? <laughs> yeah, we uh, we finished the last session with a lot of opportunity and room for growth. Got some directions we can go. I'm kind of getting pinched here, so when some someone's going to have to start a war. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested in going to... Oh, hello. Denmark internal conflicts. Nice. I'm okay with that. So Norway is allied with Lüneburg. Cute. That's uh, very entertaining. When is their truce with us up? Uh, 1516. So we've got a while to wait there. Yes, and there imagine, is no truce. I imagine Denmark has a pretty lengthy truce with us. Yes. Yeah, same truce, pretty much. Bohemia has no truce with me. So pretty much my only option would be to go to war with, like, Estonia. Oh, nope. I have a truce with them until 1510. But how? Oh, because I was the one that freed them. That's right. Yep. Yep, I have a truce with Estonia. So basically my only option right now is Muscovy. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's a little scary. Oh boy. How strong is Muscovy right now? I should check. Muscovy has a force limit of 58 and currently has 43,000 troops. That's definitely scary to me. Yeah, but we can't contend with them at this point. But no. I hopefully will have a nice boost when uh, I form the Commonwealth, which can happen pretty soon. I need admin tech. I need Admin Tech 20 to form the Scandinavian nation, but then I only need two additional provinces. Let me see which one these are. Uh, one in Norway, Akershus, and Vestjylland. Oh, okay, so I need to take over Denmark and Norway in order to do that. That's not too bad. We'll see what happens with this uh, slight problem that Denmark is having with the Livonian Order and everyone else. Norway, why were you building a spy network? Get out of here. Don't you know Bohemia. you're better off being Swedish? It's true. I just don't know it yet. What about Bohemia? Um, Bohemia was also trying to create a spy network against me as well. <laughs> So, Burgundy is currently occupied by Austria. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a real war there. Yeah. Even Switzerland is involved. Oh my, now you done screwed up. <laughs> Let's see. I'm at 24 out of 26 naval force limit. I could actually build a couple light ships if I had sailors. I don't have sailors. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my ships into port for right now. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm rolling with right now. Slowly but surely building a serviceable navy. Yeah, I'll mothball these, get them built up with the sailors, and actually, maybe not even mothball them right now. And then I can build like two light ships. Yeah, there we go. And now I can mothball them. Hey look, I renewed a loan. There's a shocker. <laughs> I do have a bit of a tendency to have financial problems in the early game. True. But that's okay. Stockholm produces grain? Interesting. Also, I was right um, in the in in the load screen. Gotland was showing up as occupied by rebels, but it actually isn't. So that's a good thing because I don't feel like going and dealing with that. Muscovy currently has no truces. Why are they not fighting like Ryazan? Good question. Ryazan is completely undefended. A tr 
tributary state of Crimea. Okay, that's adorable. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, if I was Muscovy, I'd totally be fighting Ryazan. Maybe they just didn't have any claims and they're working on that. I suppose that's a possibility. So I should start getting a second army operational, but I really want to be working on bringing my corruption down. When is my increased serfdom going to go away? That would definitely help. Uh, where are my government modifiers? Here they are. Increased serfdom. 13 February 1514. Okay. I have too many diplomatic relations, too many military access things going on at once. Yeah, that tends to happen in Europe. That is quite the, uh, quite the Austrian operation going on over there. Although, Venice is having some fun, too. Like, Venice is completely dead. <laughs> to rebels. And my leader died. Time to get a new leader. Corsica is occupied by the Ottomans. Oh, the Ottomans are going after Genoese Crimea. That's why. Yeah, that's why that was happening. Yeah, we also still haven't had colonialism pop up yet, have we? No, we haven't. It's seven years late. Well, we looked at the map at one point, and there wasn't a lot going on for colonialism. Other Africa than Portugal. Pretty much it. Yeah, Portugal and Spain. Oh, was Spain doing or some? Or Castile, rather. Yeah, they were both oh, on yeah. that coast, on the coast of Africa. Only, like, one or two provinces each. Yep, colonialism just hasn't started yet. The province owner needs to have quest for the new world for it to proc. I'm guessing nobody has it. That's really peculiar. You'd think one of them would have it. You'd think. Well, I mean... It's not like we're going to be a part of that institution anytime soon, anyways. I mean, if I take over Norway, I can start heading over. It's not... It, it would be an interesting route to take. One... Of the institutions that I think we're going to get very far in is the next one. When the printing press rolls through, I think we'll we'll get a bit of a nice bonus. Oh, yeah. That, that usually starts in, in HRE, so... Yep. Exactly. And I'm currently uh, 11 years ahead of time in Miltech, so there's that, too. Yeah, I'm still playing a little bit of catch-up, mm, but... Muscovy fabricated a claim on me. Spooky. Spooky indeed. Time to recruit some troops, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit up a few of these. I won't be able to recruit that many, but I'll recruit a couple. Maybe it'll scare them away. I doubt it, though. <laughs> if they're gonna be scared by anything, it's you in France. But France might not even be willing to join in a distant war. I'm trying to think of which direction I want to go right now. It's really focused on uniting with Lithuania, but if I go to war, it'll probably be against the Livonian order. So it would appear that Austria just made another elector. True. Well... Rip their imperial authority. Oh, another elector. And Livonian order took back all of the Danish territory. Oh, do I want 10 prestige and lose 20 ducks? Or lose 5 prestige? I don't have prestige anyway. What could go wrong? A lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got prestige to throw away. Yeah, I just didn't want to lose the 20 ducks and go into debt and have to take another loan. Oh, well, that happened. What happened? I've been called into a war against Bohemia. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Brandenburg. Let's go, boys. 
Just so you know, Lithuania is mad at me for a trade dispute now. I'm oh. sure it'll be fine. Don't be mad, we have Danzig. Right? It's Bohemia, Anhalt, Brunswick, and Würzburg. This is fine. Oh. We have a lot. We have Austria on our side yeah, as well. Yeah, that's not going to go well for them. Brandenburg, Pomerania, nope. Austria, Poland, Moldavia, and Lithuania. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Yep. Well, That's at fine. least the game made a choice for me for when we're going to war. Right? Like, all of a sudden, there's a bunch of people here. Where's the party? Well, the party is not in Sweden, and I'm okay with that. I do not need a party in Sweden right now. I'm happy just reducing my corruption and building up a bit of a treasury while building my army a little bit more. Although, can I poke my estates a bit here? Cannot ask for contribution. I could grant a generalship, and I think I will. Ooh, and I can demand military support as well. The fact that I might gain lands out of this is okay, but Austria might not be cool with it, so we'll see what they do to me. There we go. I found the Bohemians running around in Lithuania now. Okay, so I can give the nobility estate 10 more influence, even though I'm at 72.8, because it's 100 influence when it's a problem now. So, that's great. Well, thanks for all the stuff, nobility. And I'm going to root out a little bit less corruption, because I want to be making some money. That war is going ridiculously well. Well, it just took a turn, but we'll see what happens. Lithuania to the rescue. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna lost. be fine. Yeah, it's looking worse. Bohemia is showing up in force. Oh, we're gonna win. Oh, we'll see. I think you've got that. Maybe. Nope. Bad rolls. It's gonna be close. Yep, we lost. Hmm. Government reform pro- oh, that's a lot of base stuff. Two base tax. Actually, that that's a lot of base tax. Yeah, I'm definitely reforming. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, that was bad. Hey, I can do a government reform. You're not the war leader, right? No. Okay. I got plenty of manpower. Hmm. Do I want happier clergy? Happier nobility or happier burgers? I don't know. Happy burgers sound pretty good right now. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree because money is good. Yes. However, clergy also give money, and I would get a free administrative policy. I think I'm going to go for that. Austria is attacking one side of Bohemia now, but now I've got Bohemians attacking me heavily. Indeed. That's, uh going interestingly. I have to wonder where Austria is. Fighting in Bohemia. Ah. Brandenburg is the war leader, so we're hmm. gaining a lot of wars for now. I think I Once have I've to curb the excess of my nobility at this point. Their influence was getting a wee high, a wee bit high. I'm not happy about that. And now they're sad again. The problem. Oh, Bohemia is Miltech nine. That's that's part of your issue. Oof, 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 oof. Are you on mill focus? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Miltech 9 is 
kind of rough for you. Do you have any cannons yet? Yeah, you do. Yep. Okay. But yeah. if anything is going to get me through this, it's going to be quantity ideas. Yeah. I mean, I think you're going to win that through sheer numbers. Nope. No? Nope. Plus 13,000 oh, troops came to reinforce. Yep. We were going to lose either way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have 31% more score right now, so that's okay. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. Oh, well, thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do any, like, knowledge sharing or anything, unfortunately. Hmm, what's my admin tech at? Eight? I should not put it in an idea. Yearly prestige plus one for four years, so I get four prestige, but I lose ten admin power and twenty-four ducks. Nah, I'll pass. I like how the Livonian order is asking me for access and I'm declining them outright. <laughs> Why on earth would I give you access? They're at war with Estonia and Lubeck. That's why they okay. want access. Yeah, I know why, but I don't know why they <laughs> dare to ask like, the balls on these guys. Right? Lubeck is now asking me for access. To them, I also say no. Indeed. Okay, so my corruption is down to seven, so that's good. Ooh, so they they are giving they they are switching some of this Bohemian territory over to me. Ooh, that's very nice. Estonia is asking me for access. I will accept. Technically, that just gives other people access again, yeah. but I mean, Estonia is going to lose that war. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Oh, hey. My ruler died. Let's see here. This ruler is somewhat better. That's good. Hmm, I could get an immediate claim and make the Pope sad. Fun fact, Moldavia is Miltech 9. I mean, so am I. In fact, yeah. I'm getting kind of close to Miltech 10. I'm getting revolts popping up all over the place. I mean, that tends to happen when you're getting occupied. Yeah. Maybe Bohemia will take care of them for you. Well, they're getting crushed now, so life is good. And to be fair, they're not my rebels. They're Lithuania's fault. Norway, why Some... are you making claims on me? Oh, well, there's one person out. Actually, I don't want to fabricate a claim on Uplanda if I can help it. I would rather have a claim on Akershus. But I don't think I can get that. Unfortunately. I'd rather have the claim here instead. Mecklenburg has declared war on Denmark. Okay. I mean, I get it. Denmark is really weak right now. So there is that. So has Austria actually shown up to that war? Oh yeah. Thoroughly. Okay, good. Oh, I see. Some of Bohemia's allies have peaced out now. Yes. Okay, I got it. It's you. really just Bohemia and Wurzburg right now. Mm -hmm. So now we're taking territory heavily. Yeah. Well, I'm continuing to grow my army, so good. that's good. 
I will be attacking Norway as my next war probably, but my truce mm -hmm. with them isn't up for another five years. So I'm just mostly chilling and trying to recover from my from my uh, freedom. <laughs> Too much freedom is not a good thing, you know. So that's America. <laughs> we weaponized freedom. I'm gonna have a problem with Scotland, though. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be tough. Uh, however, I don't expect Scotland to last very, very long. Well, no. But I mean, I'm currently allies with them because I don't want England oh. to take them over. But I'm oh, gonna want so their you're stuff. Have... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of want the world if you can manage it. Yeah, but Scotland would be... be a good target for me after Norway. I feel bad for Scotland because England is focusing on Ireland right now. In fact, they just took more territory from them. Scotland um, is allied with Sweden, France, and Flanders. England isn't going to want to deal with that anytime soon. True. The French will take me as an ally. That's good to know. The French will take anybody as an ally. Just look at their ally list. Sweden, Scotland, Switzerland, and Florence. <laughs> Trying to play the French Super Friends. That's a nice 20k stack of rebels in Bohemia. Nothing compared to what's happening in Lithuania, though. I, I can't see in Lithuania, unfortunately. I see all of the occupation, but I, I have no vision in Lithuania. There is a stack of 24,000, a stack of 22,000, a stack of 6,000. Oh, nice. Well, Austria might take care of that for you. Mm, they don't seem to be very interested. They're around, but... Yeah. Well, they might go through there on their way to, like, Smolenska or something. Sure. They might head up that way. Almost. My, my territory is slowly being freed up. Oh, hello. You're about to be attacked by that 20k stack. Oh, boy. Good thing I had both of my armies next to him. Right? Handled. There we go. I guess we're even killing the Bohemian peasants. Okay. Not just the men, but the women and the children. Oof. I mean, you could also say that the Ottomans hate sand, and that's why they're expanding into Europe. I mean... It's true, but there's not a lot of sand in Anatolia. A lot of dirt, sure. I mean, it's I mean, a... It's... They are also currently expanding into Mamluk territory. True. Now that is sand. Like, they're actually fighting in Egypt right now. Yep. I am not making very much money right now, and it's because I just embiggened my army gonna have to root out a little bit less corruption sure. so fun fact brandenburg is completely overtaken by rebels so it is like there are three or just a handful of provinces that aren't being occupied by rebels and now they're <laughs> moving into bohemia lovely well that's yeah. the hre for you true and the fun fact is they're all different rebels there are Noble rebels, there are Protestant zealots. Oh god, that's happening now? Oh boy. Oh, Protestantism has started? Oh, it has started. Oh, it has there started. Are How many did I miss centers. That? Well, we kind of forgot that we had started right at the turn of the Age of Reformation. That's true. That is true. Um, Scotland is also reformed. Ooh, exciting. So I guess we have a choice ahead of us. Yes. You know, with this nice war, we've finally seen things get back to normal. Look at the HRE's Imperial Authority. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, finally! Hey! Finally. Where did it start? Let's see. <laughs> wow! So, um, it started in Holland. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, look! Things have changed in the map. Indeed, they have. And I 
got some happy gains, though border gore has begun. Well, I just got Diptech 7, so that's good. My Diptech is pretty far behind, so that means I will be getting less corruption due to unbalanced research. Wonderful. I'm at the usual zero manpower, so that's great. I'm not at max manpower, but I'm very close. And admin tech 9. So, hello, unbalanced research. Oh, actually, yeah. no, I don't get it, unbalanced research. That's good. Now, are you getting more tech advantages because of your naval connections? Because I think I'm a bit... Like, we're about the same distance away from Europe, but even though I was closer to the Renaissance, I'm not getting very many gains. We have the same institutions. True. I'm 878. I'm 794, so you'll be catching up. I hope. Just make sure to prioritize that mill tech. Hello, Livonian Order. I see you're back. My ruler is also pretty decent. Now the question is, do we want to attack the Livonian Order? Um, I've got 800 manpower, so I'm okay with it. Let me unmothball my ships and get my troops ready to go. I don't think I have a claim, do you? I do. Let me see if I do. Actually, I think I do have a claim. Yeah, I've got a claim. Okay. I'll side in your way then. Okay, I will just get in position here. My fleet is at 45% right now. So, it'll be a couple months before I'm ready to declare. But I do yeah. want to fight the Livonian Order. So, with regard to carving up the Livonian Order, what do you need? That's the thing. I'm not the Commonwealth yet, so it's hard for me to say. Right. Technically, we want all of it. Yeah. I take the north half, you take the south half? I think that'll just have to suffice. Anything that can buffer us against Muscovy. Because you're going to get a lot 10, more border. So. Ooh, I mean, yeah. I'm 988 in my tech right now. I'm really ahead of time on admin. That's good. Well, my fleet will be active soon. And as soon as that is, I'll declare. I have to deal with these rebels first. There's a lot of them in Lithuania. Okay. I also have half of my army, so I need to find a way to make that work. I mean, I can probably take the Livonian Order on my own. True. So yeah, it's just kind of on you. Yeah. I'm just going to park my fleet in the northern Baltic. Should I call you in or not? I would like land. Okay. I can survive, no problem. see none of our other allies would come in riga will come in of course of course now what if i were to declare the war um brandenburg might come in but they won't land so that's a hard no yeah i think i'll I just can't. declare okay yeah bohemia looks really nasty in terms of border right now <laughs> you're not wrong okay i'm ready to declare this let's go okay However, I just noticed that it is time to put a cut in, so we should probably do that, and then next episode we'll do this war. Okay. <laughs> See you all then.